those of you who don't already know me, my name is Lauren Woolley. I go by Mrs. Woolley and Fifth on TikTok and YouTube. I have partnered with Primary Health Network for National Health Center Week to celebrate all of the amazing things that our nonprofit health centers do for us around the country. And um, Primary Health Network is something that's very close and near and dear to my heart. So I just wanted to help them out with this awesome craft for you guys. So I'm going to show you today how to make a raised salt painting with watercolors and salt. It is amazing and I can't wait to show you how to do it. So let's get started. Okay, let's see what we're gonna need in order to make this craft. First, I have some cardstock. Now you can use any color background you want, but I'm gonna be using white. And I have even printed out a picture of a lighthouse that we're going to make today, but you can freehand it if you don't have a printer at home. That's totally fine. Next, you're going to need some salt, and I suggest having a parent or guardian buy a new box of salt for you because this is gonna use quite a bit of it. You're going to need some liquid glue. Elmer's glue will work just fine. Make sure you're not using a glue stick because the salt will not stick to it. You're going to need some watercolor paints. You can buy them in a set like this, or you can just use food coloring put into some water in a cup. That works just as well. Um, you're going to need a cup with some water in it. And I also suggest using a baking sheet so that you can dump all the extra salt into the baking sheet so it doesn't get all over your table. So let's get started. Okay, so I have my lighthouse already printed out on a piece of cardstock. But that's okay if you don't have a printer at home. You can totally just freehand this if you want to. Or you can draw it in pencil or marker first and then trace over it with the glue. So, like I said, you're gonna grab your glue, open it up so that you have a nice, even flow of glue coming out. I'm gonna uncover this top piece a little bit, there we go. And then I'm gonna start at the top because when I come down with the glue, I don't wanna get my hand all stuck in glue. So I'm gonna start over on this side of my lighthouse and I'm just going to press easily. Oh, it's not open enough, so I'm gonna open it a little more. There we go. And I'm just going to cover all the black lines with glue because that is what is going to hold all the salt. So I'm just going to quickly trace each piece very carefully. Okay, so there's my top section already done. My lighthouse rays are looking good, so we're gonna move on to the body. And I'm gonna do this piece by piece. That way I don't get my hand all stuck in glue. And it's a lot easier, I can just do it all in one motion. Look at that. Bam. This is so easy. This is probably one of the easiest crafts I have ever done in my life. And you'll have to see at the very end, it's gonna look so cool. Almost completely done with the glue. Done. And that is all the glue we're gonna need. So I'm gonna go ahead and close my glue bottle, put it off to the side because we're done with that. So now what we have to do is cover all of our glue lines with salt. And I'm gonna teach you a little trick. And I learned this when I tried this craft the first time. So it's actually a pretty nifty trick that's gonna help you to save salt and not have a huge pile of salt at the end. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna pour a nice amount of salt at the top of your lighthouse, covering up all of the glue lines, all the lines, and then watch what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take my top two corners of my paper, if I can lift them up, there we go, and then I'm just going to bend it and kind of fold it in so that the salt that I have on the paper already is gonna help to coat some of the glue parts on the bottom of the lighthouse. And I'm not being wasteful, I'm using up all that salt. Look at that. And then I can just dump off all of the extra salt and I'm just going to tip over my cookie tray to put all the salt at the bottom. That way it doesn't get covered with the paint. And look at that. It's ready to paint. Already done. And we didn't even have to waste a whole bunch of salt. So now I'm done with the salt. I'm gonna put that off to the side. And this is the fun part. This is where you get to be creative 
You get to pick whatever colors you want. And I think I want to make mine a rainbow lighthouse. So I'm going to start the top two pieces with like red and some yellow. So I'm going to dip my paintbrush in the water. And that's where I'm going to pick what color I'm going to choose. And you only need to put a little bit of water on your watercolor. You don't want it to get too flooded in there. And then watch this. You just dab it. And it's kind of like a snow cone. Like it kind of adds the color and bleeds down the sides. And you'll see the more time you give it to kind of sit there, the more the color will just bleed into the salt. And you can keep adding water if you need it. Now I'm going to clean off my brush because the middle part of my lighthouse and the rays of my lighthouse are all going to be yellow. So I want to be nice and bright. I'm going to dab it in there. And look at that. I really don't even need that much. I just dab it and it's there. And I'm going to take some more. Now I'm going to switch up the color. Now I think I want to add some blue. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of water, brush around that blue color, and watch this. I just think that's so cool. Like, it looks like a little snow cone, and I'm making it rainbow. And it can just bleed through, and it's okay if the colors mix together a little bit. Okay, now I think going down, I'm going to start with the green. Don't forget guys, you can make this any color you want. If you want your lighthouse to be all red and green and make a Christmas lighthouse, go for it. If you want to make it blue, like the sky, you can do that. It's all yours. And I think I'm going to make my door, well I'm going to make this bottom section red too. And I think I'm going to make the bottom blue again. That blue is just my favorite color in this palette. It just comes out so vibrant and pretty. So bright. It's kind of like a like blue, like the ocean, like we're a lighthouse. Okay, so now that our lighthouse painting is completely done being painted, we're going to sit and let it dry. And once the entire thing is dry, you'll see all the colors will start to blend together a little more and the salt will be nice and thick, but you have to let it dry. I know it's really cool looking. We want to go hang it up on the fridge right away, but if we do that, it's all going to fall off the page. So let it dry out and then you'll have your finished lighthouse salt painting. I hope you guys enjoyed doing this. It was so fun. This is definitely going to light the way for National Health Center Week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed making this craft. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed learning how to do this craft. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Make sure if you create one at home that you post it on Facebook or Twitter. Hashtag light the way for National Health Center Week. Make sure you tag Primary Health Network so they can see your wonderful paintings as well. If you post it on TikTok or Instagram or YouTube, make sure that you tag me, Mrs. Woolley and Fifth, so that I can see them because I know they're going to look beautiful. Thank you so much for joining us and celebrating National Health Center Week. And thank you so much to Primary Health Network for allowing me to be a part of it. I love you guys. Bye.